Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Paul, and I'm so excited that you're here today, especially if it's your first time, because just like everyone else, this is a first for each and every one of us. I'm launching a new segment today because not only have I been thirsty for some good homemade almond milk, I've also been real thirsty, and I mean thirsty with a U, for some good old-fashioned facts. And that's why today I'm launching this segment entitled All in the Ingredients. Have your facts and eat them too. Today we're going to be chatting about the Dakota Access Pipeline, otherwise known as DAPL. Now DAPL to me kind of sounds like apple, so I thought, hmm, apples are in season, they're also delicious, so why not chat about the Dakota Access Pipeline while we make some apple pie? Put them both together, we're making DAPL pie. Stick with me. Okay, so this is not a new story, and we kind of thought it was over, right? Well. Think again. On Tuesday, January 24th, President Trump signed in an executive order, aka an I've got the power, screw you Congress, I do not even need you right now moment, to push the Keystone XL pipeline and Dakota Access pipeline back into motion. Now, he did say, and I quote, with some terms to be negotiated, but most of these terms seem to have to do with bringing jobs back to the American people, and uh, we're not even sure what these terms are. So let's find out why this is such a big deal, kind of like this huge apple. So on the surface, this seems like a strict money play, right? Well, let's get to the core of the issue here. The Dakota Access Pipeline is a project of back-in holding company under the subsidiary rightfully named Dakota Access LLC. The project in itself will cost over $3 billion and was supposed to be completed January 2017. However, this DAPL ran into some issues when some opposing groups, mainly the Standing Rock Indian Reservation, started rejecting the pipeline's construction route as a threat to their land and a potential environmental issue if the pipeline ever leaked. Wait, so what is this pipeline going to be doing? Great question. The pipeline will be carrying about 4,700,000 barrels worth of crude oil from North Dakota all the way to Illinois on a journey through four states and a little under 1,200 miles. It's a classic fight between a big corporation and a group of people who feel they are being wronged. Now, whether or not you're on the hashtag no dapple or hashtag yes dapple side of the spectrum, you can't make apple pie without apples. And when you mix apples with oil, you might run into a little bit of a sticky situation, especially when the oil is actually sugar syrup. So let's let this marinate a little bit, shall we? Okay. Let's talk about the land that the pipeline is crossing through, and specifically why the Standing Rock Indian Reservation decided to peacefully protest the DAPL late last year. Ooh, but no one can protest this gluten-free vegan pie crust I've whipped up. Psst, the recipe's down below. Even when it was below freezing, even when they were met with aggressive police officers and military forces, even when there was snow. Now, Dakota Access LLC has stated that the pipeline is not crossing through Standing Rock Reservation land. And this, my friends, is a fact. The pipeline itself will come as close as 500 feet to the land, but it does not head through it. So what's the big deal then? Great question. Water. Water H2, oh no, you didn't just cause an oil leak in my clean water supply, water. And here's where it gets a little tricky, because there's also a little bit of imminent domain abuse going on, if you ask some people. And imminent domain is basically when government takes private land and uses it for things that are supposed to be publicly beneficial. So once again, is the Dakota Access Pipeline publicly beneficial? I don't know. And I'm seriously about to stress eat this entire pie. Back to the facts. So we have the Lake Oahe Reservoir that basically provides fresh drinking water for thousands of people, including the people of Standing Rock. The pipeline is planned to route 
underneath the reservoir as much as 90 feet below it. And well, if there were a leak and the oil got into the reservoir, that could mean no more clean drinking water for a lot of people, amongst a couple of other horrible things. So there you have it, a whole bunch of different people, interests, and conflict wrapped up into one delicious dessert. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, cook this dapple pie at 350 degrees for 25 minutes while you leave some comments below about where you stand with the whole pipeline issue. Also, make sure to subscribe and like this video if you wanna see more all in the ingredients. Well, it looks like our dapple pie is ready, so you have the facts and you can eat them too. Okay, so this is definitely not a new story. In fact, we kind of thought it was over, right? Well, think again. December 24th, 1986.